Good morning, Polson High School. It's Friday, March 22nd. I'm your anchor, Alexandra, and welcome back to PHSN TV. Today for lunch, we'll have strawberry chicken and feta salad with vinaigrette dressing, a cinnamon roll, banana, and milk. For next week's schedule, we will be back Monday through Thursday on a normal schedule with Common Ground on Wednesday. On Friday, we will have our final go day of this quarter and the end of quarter three. For your pirate activity report, tennis will compete all day at home against Libby and Hamilton. On Saturday, they will host Corvallis and Big Fork. Also on Saturday, the softball team will host a quad event here starting at 11 a.m. Now to some general school news. Key Club is having a clothing drive for teenagers in the foster care system in Montana. Clothes and duffel bags must be donated by Friday this week so we can take them with us to our district convention. Bring donations to, Key Club, to a Key Club member or Miss Duvetter's room. Attention sophomores and juniors. The pre-ACT and ACT is on Tuesday, March 26th. All 10th graders will take the paper and pencil pre-ACT in the gym. Testing starts at 8.15 and will end around 11.45. Periods 5 5 through 7 will be normal. All 11th graders will be testing in the social studies classroom from 8.15 to 1. The ACT test is taken on your school-issued laptop. Laptops will be collected in your English classes on Monday. All juniors will have late lunch through 6th period and 7th period will be normal. Freshmen and seniors will follow a normal schedule all day. Now to the championship match of Pirate Trivia. Welcome back to the final round of Pirate Trivia. Our finalists today are Torn and Truman. Let's get started. Uh, round one, decades. The Great Gatsby was published during the Jazz Age in this decade. 1920s. That's correct. This decade is when Elvis became the king of rock and roll and when the Supreme Court case Brown v. Board outlawed segregation in schools. Truman. 50s? Correct. This decade had a world war and invented the microwave. Truman. 40s. That is correct. Oh. Round two, geography. What country in Africa is the furthest south? South Africa. Correct. <laughs> How many lakes do the Great Lakes have? Six. Incorrect. Isn't it like a hundred? Incorrect. <laughs> Five. There you go. Five. What is the only country in the world that is also a continent? Australia. Correct. Going to the final round, four to two. Last one is music. The song Wrecking Ball was originally written for Beyonce, but the singer made it a hit instead. Miley Cyrus. Correct. Who performed the last Super Bowl halftime show? Ush. Correct. This singer died in 1977 after releasing his last song, Way Down. Luke Bryan. <laughs> False. <laughs> Incorrect. He was mentioned earlier. I'll give you that hint. Elvis? Correct. Oh. With the score of 7 to 2, our final winner is Truman. Good job, Truman. I done got cooked, man. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you for watching. If you want more content, please find us on the Pulton High School website, SoundCloud, iTunes, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a great day, Pirates.